what we think of as PTSD has existed for literally as long as a human has ever taken up any kind of weapon against another human. Committing violence changes a person. After they've done it, after they've seen it, they're not the person they were before. PTSD, in a way that we would recognize, existed in the Iliad. It existed in the Bible. It's existed in every war, from the Civil War to Vietnam to today. But what we're learning about PTSD is interesting. We're learning that you can see physical changes to the brain from somebody who has suffered from it and different from someone who hasn't. So we're seeing that it is not simply a wound of the soul and the psyche. It's also a wound that has a physical manifestation also. That's not something that was known even five years ago, let alone 10, let alone 15. And that's an extraordinary change. We're also coming to understand that PTSD doesn't stem only from violence. The highest rates of PTSD now in the military are among female rape victims. There's an epidemic of rape in the military that is staggering and really stomach-turning and heartbreaking. Women who are sexually assaulted experience PTSD at rates as high or higher as those who fight in combat. There's also new research that suggests PTSD can be contagious, that even if you didn't serve, even if you didn't fight, but the soldiers around you did, you could sort of take their trauma and make it your own. It can happen to the spouse of a soldier, it can happen to the child of a soldier, or it could happen to a separate soldier who had never themselves fought or served overseas in either Iraq or Afghanistan.